parade where we celebrate African culture. And we believe that uh, God has blessed you know, the African continent with so many human and natural resources. I mean, there is no resources on the planet Earth that we don't have in Africa. Both natural, human, and whatever you want to mention. And we bless you for that. And if you are blessed to be from that continent, either you are associated, whether you are born there, or your parents are born there, or you have relatives that are born there, or you even marry into that culture, you know what they say, once you go black, you don't go back. Black don't crack. You've heard every other thing about black. But you know, uh, for those of us who were born and raised there, we know some of the values that we learned from there. Well, you know, last year this uh, occasion started, and uh, it was it was a very very impressive one, and we know that it will continue and get better. Well, we said it was going to start by seven, but knowing our people, um, it's not that we don't keep to time; it's time that don't keep to us. Yes. Then, if you're an African queen in the house tonight, make some noise. In the course of the night, how many of you are from Nigeria here? Yeah? So let the DJ know that Nigerians don't play with God's sound. If you don't want these people to start going home now, Nigerians know that it is by trick or by play. Once we hear God's sound, you will just see this microphone and we leave. I don't joke with anything that is a threat to my life. I don't joke, I love my life too much. You know? This guy is trying to end this show right now. Because those are two things that Nigerians don't like. Police and gun. I don't care anywhere you are. Even you that police in this part of the world, even if you have not done anything wrong, once you see them, you start checking yourself. Once you see, I don't like, like personally, I don't like the police driving behind me. They make me nervous. Even when I have not done anything wrong. And the way your police here, the way they question people, they will make you confess what you have not done. Once you just, whoa, 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 whoa. Pull over, pull over. <laughs> just an officer. Okay. I ran the red lights two lights, two lights ago. I'm sorry, yeah, I can't even see you. But the way they just question you, they look you straight to the eye, they make you start confessing what you have not done. I don't like the police here. They just make you want to, you know, you start shivering. That's why I love Nigerian police. It is the other way around. Do you know that here, they arrest you for drunk driving. Like if you're driving and you're drunk, they pull you over, they can write, they call it DUI, right? In my own country, if you are coming from the club, 2 a.m. and you right. don't have drink in your car, they can arrest you. Right. For driving without drink. They'll say, ah, oh God, you are drunk. Where is the remaining one? You, fin you finish it? Bah! For finishing your drink. It's the other way around. That's why I love my country. It's special over there. We arrest you for the other way around. If you're part of Gary, they will make some noise. See, those are the things that kept us strong. That is why when everybody says it is cold, oh my God, no. That's why Africans are South Africa, we don't have allergies. It is only when you get to America that you remember that some of us will say, oh no, I'm lactose intolerant. Eh? In Nigeria, lactose intolerant is a sign of good living. Because you know when you drink the milk and your stomach starts bubbling, you say, eh, it's making me to grow. Here yeah, you say, oh no, I'm allergic to milk. I can't eat onions. If you if you have allergies in Africa, you will die of hunger. Because we only have two types of meal. Some people say, oh no, I can't drink tea without milk. It is luxury. These are some of the things that we enjoy as Africans. And we don't need big toys for us to be happy as Africans. You know? We can look for used tires and look for a stick. Before you know, we already have our own toy cars. How many of us roll tires? I think you are a top boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You roll tires? Wow, praise God. I mean, you know, does anybody here enjoy it? I mean, the boy used St. Louis sugar to make car. St. Louis sugar and tin milk. Yeah, yeah. Big tin milk. Yeah. You make it together, you turn the car. How many of us have kites? Yeah, you fly kites during summer. These are some of the beauty. How many of you play with sand? No, some people don't play, they didn't play with that, they have concrete floor, so they could not play with sand. Those are some of the beauty of Africa. If you're here, you're in Africa, you're probably Africa, let's give ourselves a round of applause, you know. Now, part of some of the things that we have lined up for ourselves tonight, 
is cultural African dance. So tonight we're going to have a bit of cultural dance. We're going to have uh, poetic uh, utterances. We're going to have uh, dances from Ghana. If you're a Ghana, you have to make some noise. All right, yeah, give it up to the Ghanaians in the house. All black stars. I love the Ghanaians. It is so easy. Once they open their mouths, you know they are Ghanaians. Because they have some of the best spoken English in West Africa. If you see a Nigerian, tell them how. If you see a Ghanaian, you know, if you see somebody from Nigeria, ask him, how did you come to America? Nigeria will say, yeah, hey, I say, Nigeria, I came by aircraft, I landed. Not a Ghanaian. They are very articulate. And their own products, they are not capable of that, you won't understand. Ask again, how did you come to America? Oh, I came by aircraft. <laughs> it's my United Airways. And everything in the Ghana, it was anyway. Oh. Hey, Charlie, everybody, every man in Ghana is Charlie. I remember one guy called me and I said, that's not my name. He said, yeah, Charlie. I called her. Oh. How did you come to America? It's my aircraft. What does your mother do? And she said, yes. What about your father? He said, dead. I didn't even know he was saying doctor and nurse. As my dad was just a nurse, doctor, he said, dead. And nurse. Yeah, the Daniel men are the only men who don't have to sew their clothes. Just buy a rapper and wrap it all around you. <laughs> you are ready. You didn't miss that. Then also, all the way from Los Angeles, California, I have here my brother, my friend in the house. Wami Lele, let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> yes, Wami Lele came on holiday and has refused to go back. We have been begging him to go back. He just refused to say he's not going back anymore. So maybe, we don't know, maybe you guys should do something that will make him remember home and go back. 